Religion is evolving in Minnesota. Since 2007, the number of Minnesotans who attend church regularly has dropped by 4%. Most dramatically, the number of Minnesotans who say they don't believe in God has tripled in the past decade. But some churches are growing, and this one in particular is exploding. Eaglebrook is now the largest church in Minnesota with more than 20,000 people attending services each weekend. There were 48,000 on Christmas alone. They have six campuses across the metro. Just three weeks ago, they opened a new one in Anoka. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield looks at how Eagle Brook's approach to Christianity has Minnesotans showing up in droves. Church is going to be so weird. So we try to reduce the weird factor. Well, welcome everybody to all of our campuses. It may not be weird, but Eagle Brook Church is certainly unique. From the parking lot to the coffee shop in the lobby and the interactive kids programs, they offer a visitor-friendly experience. What we've tried to do is try to create an environment where anybody can come into and feel comfortable. You'll notice there are no pews here at Eagle Brook, nor will you find any stained glass or choir robes, but there are lots of blue jeans. It's very comfortable here. You know, it's not a suit and tie place. Phil Resendez is one of more than 20,000 who finds comfort at Eagle Brook Church. A lifelong addict, he says he's found faith in sobriety. I felt very alone. And coming here, all that changed. I felt like I belonged. I felt instantly loved. I felt cared for. I did not feel judged, not at all. Enjoy the service. Church greeter Shelly Stelton had a more common backstory. Good morning, welcome. Most of my adult life, I had not attended church, except maybe on the holidays. Good morning. Shelly was raised Lutheran. Hostility, quarreling. Lutherans and Catholics make up most of Minnesota's faith population. Eagle Brook is Baptist in origin. The first message that I heard the day I walked in, I felt like I was the only person in the room. It's a thriving environment that's caught the attention of this Augsburg religion professor. I bring students to Eagle Brook, and uh, you will see, I think, what's attractive about it. The trappings of a religious institution seem to be missing from Eagle Brook's worship spaces. It's just less formal. And even though the most unconventional part I wasn't guilty is the way the sermon or message is delivered. I felt guilty. Our speaking is live at Lionel Lakes. The speaking part is simulcast to the other five campuses. I hear that this morning again, nine o'clock services overflows. A self-proclaimed introvert, Bob Merritt is lead pastor. Music varies from campus to campus, and you'll notice there are no organs in sight. This is kind of like rock and roll. And not everybody likes it. And that's okay. We're trying to hit that 80%. It's music, he says, people can relate to. Anybody have a family member who's against you? And relatability is what Bob Merritt, who's been at the church since 1991, is all about. When I failed in preaching class or struggled in our marriage early on, those were the things that made me stronger and wiser and more capable. All I need to do is talk about, <laughs> about my own weaknesses and my own failures and my own blunders in life. And if I can add some humor around that, People are in their seats doing this. Yep, yep, that's me. It's been the hard things in my life that have made me. He spends more than 30 hours on each 30 minute message. God is for you and your challenges at work. His messages will post online. They have viewers in 50 states. Soon, thanks to $5 million in new donations, they'll stream live to the world on Sundays. I think it's a sin for people to come into a church and be bored. And I don't mean they should be entertained because I think God's word is the most compelling thing on the planet. This audience is captive, and with 240 staff members and 27 weekly services. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you. This audience is growing. Good to see you. But that, Merritt says, is a side note. It's not about being big. It's just God keep using us, and we'll try to follow. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Over Easter, Eagle Brook broke an all-time attendance record. More than 51,000 people showed up at services and more than 10,000 people watched online.